All right, guys, this is a uh, review slash show and tell on the uh, chest rig that I took out hunting. This is the uh, Winex brand tactical recon rig or something along those lines off of Amazon. Uh, 15 bucks comes in green, black, or tan. Um, it's got uh, all these nice patches of uh, Velcro on the front for, so you can anything that's Velcroized you can put on there. Um, the size of it's 10 and a half wide, 7 and a half tall, and 2 inches deep. Mm -hmm. It's got two separate pockets and a divider in the main big pocket so for those of you who don't know how this goes it sits in your front these straps go around your shoulder and then around your waist so I'm just gonna show you what I got in here and uh, you can, I don't know, just so you have an idea um, first we got Speed strip of uh, 30 out of 6, you know, in case you need to do a tactical reload on your hunting rifle. Oh, that's good. No idea what brand this is, I just had it kicking around, so I thought I'd throw it in. I don't keep it on the Velcro, even though I could, just because, I don't know, don't want to lose it. It's safer inside. I got my, uh... Little Firepoint X little light here. I did a video on these. Um, great little light. What else we got here? First aid kit. You know, this is just some band aids and alcohol prep just for basic. Uh, you know, just in case. You need that little thing. Paracord because, you know, paracord. This one's also got a little tiny semi-functional uh, striker on it for setting fires. Not a huge fan of it, but it's there just in case. Um, everybody should have one of these if they're going to have any sort of path. This is a Emergency blanket that I've had kicking around. These are light. These will save your life. Let's see. I got a couple food bars. These are, I think, uh, 300 calories a piece or 900 calories. I forget. Um, I got a whole case of them. So, these are good. I mean, one of these will fill you up for enough calories. I mean, you won't be full, but you'll be, you know, you won't be out of, out of steam. Um, hand sanitizer, because you gotta stay clean in the field. Also, this stuff works great for certain fires. And I basically, uh, I basically set this kit up so if I did get stuck out in the woods, um, I'd be able to survive for a day or two, you know, let's see, you got I don't even know what this was, I just set it in here. Some sort of bandage or gauze, I thought it'd be a good thing to have in there, so it's in here. Um, Got a couple of these little uh, military surplus tactical toilet papers, if you will. I mean, you can either use them for their intended purpose or add some of this. And you got a good start for a fire that'll burn for a while. Also, we've got a couple pouches of military surplus drinking water. I mean, these are only uh, 4.2 ounces, but enough to keep you going to the day. 
Anyways, that's all I got in that pack, except for earmuffs, because earmuffs are good to have. You don't want to blow your, your ears out. Shooting your out six. And the other main pouch, this is the... That was the, the small pouch. You can see it holds quite a bit, all that stuff. The main pouch, I've got... It's more a knife. I mean, this is a cheap knife I picked up at one of our local gun stores for 20 bucks. I mean, just look at that. Doesn't that look pretty? Super functional. I mean, this thing is came razor sharp. I mean, you can see, sharp enough to shave hair off my arm with. There'll be plenty for a deer. This is a uh, stainless steel, made in Sweden. I expect good things about this. Too bad I didn't get a deer. I, I was interested to see how this would work on a deer. You know, you got your papers for hunting. You know, you gotta have those on you at all times. Um. See, I've got out of an MRE or something similar. I've got a tactical shelf stable bacon cheddar sandwich. You know, for a main course, this is 330 calories. I'm sure it's super tasty. Last but not least, signal flare. Um, I've got a whole case of these from another buddy of mine that does. Prepping and sells that kind of stuff. These are I think uh Chinese or North Korean surplus. Oh, Japan. Military surplus. These are about uh thirty thousand candle power for about forty seconds. They're very bright, and you know what? They work great for starting fires. So that's what I keep in here, and uh, I think I had a lighter in here too, but I took it out. But I, I usually have a lighter in here as well. Um, but, you know, between this, this, this striker and this knife, you know, I should be able to start a fire with decently dry wood. You know, use this if I have to, but it probably works better more as a, uh, for what it's in purpose is. Because if you have a helicopter flying overhead that you need to get a hold of, it's going to be a lot harder to signal them with these than it is with 30,000 kilo power. Anyways, that's what I got. And, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Uh, look forward to reading your comments. Um, oh, so the one, the one thing I don't like about this pouch, let me give one, one con is that, personally, these straps are a little bit wide to, to stay over my shoulders. So I end up just turning this upside down. That kind of puts pressure on it. By the way, this back piece also has Velcro on it, so in case you wanted to do something that attaches with Velcro. Um, this worked out for me quite well. And, uh, yeah, good little pouch. Uh, gets pretty decent reviews on Amazon. I mean, it's not waterproof. It's not overly stitched together, you know, with, like, multiple rows of stitches or nothing, but... I think it'll be fine, and for 15 bucks, you can't really complain if it doesn't last more than a couple seasons, but I'm happy with it, and uh, I'll be going out for late, late buck here next month, and hopefully I'll get to use, well, some of this stuff. Don't have to use all of it, but you want to use some of it. Anyways. Look forward to reading the comments and hearing more about what other people think about this stuff.